Hey everyone, this is the next video in the series about inside a Spring Boot. So far, we have covered all of these topics, and all the links are given. Um, all the links of the videos are given in the description box. Go ahead and check out those. Right. So this video, we are going to talk about the server code. So your Spring Boot application is running on Tomcat server. Uh, to run uh, it on your system, it needs a port from your system that is available. Right. So let me uh, explain you the use cases that we are going to consider under this server port. Right. So there can be different use cases. So let me explain you one by one. So overriding default port. So when you create a Hello World Spring Boot application and start the application, by default it is running on the port 8080, right? So if it, if this port is available, no other service is running, no other uh, process is no other process is running on 8080 port. So your application is going to work or oh, start on this port, right? So next is different port for different environment. So in the software development life cycle, uh, you have Dev, uh, dev environment, test environment, and then prod, right? So during these cycles, uh, sometimes you need that in the dev environment you have some machine, so it should run on the port 8081, and in the test it should run on 8082, and in the uh, in the prod environment it should run on 8083 port. So it depends on the requirement, right? So sometimes you need the same port on all the environment, sometimes you need uh, different port on the different environments right so how we can do that how the same application we can start on the different port on the different environment so this is the second use case third use case random available port i do not want to specify a particular port uh, i want the system uh, to look for the any available port that is with the system and start our application on that port so how we can do that we are going to see that next is port from command line while starting the application so one way you can on uh, uh, one way you can give the port in the application.properties or application.yml in the source code itself another way you have the spring boot application artifact right uh, artifact.jar and while starting this application from the command line you can specify the port uh, right so how we can do that uh, we are going to see that also so let me take you to the hello world spring boot application and show you all of this one by one so this is the hello world application that i already have open in intellij idea and this is the application yaml so usually it is application.properties when you download it i have renamed it to application.yaml so this is the one way that i can give the uh, configuration to spring uh, boot application right and here I have nothing fancy only hello world application so I am going to show you oh, I am just going to show you the starting application is starting where it is running right so I have not uh, first use case I am not going to give any detail application yaml I am going to start this application and we will show you of which port is it is running on so okay so this is the spring banner that you are seeing spring boot initialized it is running on port 8080 right so next use case is how i can override this default port right so server.port by default it is 8080 and now i can override this 8081 right so now start it and it will start uh, the server on port 8080 all right now our application is running on port 8081 right so Next use case is uh, random available port. So how we can do that? So you just put the zero, the value, you put the value zero, it will pick the any available port from the system and will start the application there, right? So we stop and start this again. Now it will uh, take any random port. Uh, it will start the application on any random port that is there. Okay, so now it started the Tomcat on 55894. So the uh, in this case, when you have mentioned the server port at zero, uh, anytime you start your application, it is going to pick the different port because it is randomly going to pick any port that is available with the system. So it will not remember that uh, previously you start your application, it picked the sub particular port, and next time you are starting, and it is going to it is going to pick the same port. So it is different on every time you start your application right 55912 right 
so it depends on the requirement that uh, what you have right so next is a uh, port from command line so i have to generate the artifact for that so st stop this application and go to the command line and create the build of this application so for now so give the port 8081 right so so that it start on particular port right so i want to create the artifact for this this is the command get lw clean build so it is going to uh, it is going to uh, generate the artifact uh, hello world dot jar application for me and that jar i can use to start this spring boot application yeah. so build is executed properly so if i go to cd build lips and show you the directory so it has generated this jar for us right so to run this jar application if i put this so it is when i run this one it is going to pick the port that is with this one right so if i start it so first let me show you the existing behavior that is there so it has picked the port 8081 right so now i want to override this port right so how we can do that you just have to pass this property server 8080 and any value you can give right server dot port double hyphen and then property server dot port it is going to do the job for me port 8082 started the application on port 8082 so this is how you can play around with the uh, with the server dot port so one last case that is there so what if i want the the important use case that is different port this was this we were missing different port for different environment right so let me explain you that also so let me stop this one and show you this uh, okay uh, here comes the concept of spring profiles right so when you have dev environment and uh, test environment and production environment so how we can do that right so you have to specify the environment specific properties right so uh, i have to give here so this is how you can mention the particular environment right so application dev yaml and control c control v and for test i'm i'm going to take the example of two profiles dev and test right and this is the main application dot uh, that it is going to load here i have to mention one property so here you have to pass profiles active and then you have to give the name of the active profile that is there right so here you have to specify which uh, environment that you want right so uh, if no profile is active i want the port 8081 for the dev environment i want 8082 and for the test environment i want 8083 right and this is the main uh, configuration class that where i have mentioned which so when you have not uh, when i do not have this profiles concept this service server dot port whatever is mentioned on application dot yaml is going to be effective right uh, but when we have this concept of profiles active so whatever uh, this this is going to be overridden by this application dev dot yaml right so if i start our application now so it should pick the port 8082 because i have mentioned the port uh, profile active profile here dev So starting this application and it is also saying the following profiles are active. So dev profile is active and it is initializing with port 8082. What we have mentioned here in application dev.yml, right? So in the same way, in the same way, I can give the test profile also. So hyphen test, it is uh, going to pick, uh, it is going to consider that as a specific environment, right? So I have if i give it test so it restart the application now it will pick the any port that you have given here 8083 okay the yeah. profile is active test and 8083 and all this right so here uh, when you need different uh, different configuration for different environments spring profiles come into concept right 
spring profile concept come into picture so i have already have explained spring profiles in detail uh, you can go uh, I, i'll give the link in description box also you can go ahead and check out that right so this is all that you can play around with the server port you go ahead and play uh, and apply the requirement that you have and you see any issue you face any issue put that in comment section i'll be happy to help you out right so if i'm missing anything in this video put that in comment section also i'll try to cover that in the next video so i'll i'll see you in the next video with the another topic uh, till then take care bye bye